for sure. You mentioned Dave Ramsey, right? Uh, my parents are huge Dave Ramsey fanatics. My mom listens to her podcast. My dad always jokes that that's her hall pass. Uh, <laughs> I've heard that joke way too many times at this point, but uh, <laughs> but uh... which he's a, obviously he's, if you guys haven't heard of him, he's a financial advisor. He's probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest, but and yeah. the most famous. I've read his book, but he's very big on no debt. Debt is bad, right? Cash is king. What do you think about that, right? Because, I mean, it sounds like you've grown into, and I certainly have always been that kid that likes to save his money. Not, you know, maybe not t- as I've maybe not taken as much action as I should. That's mm-hmm. definitely for sure. But I have been a good saver, right? right? And just living within my means. So I have been able, me personally, I've been able to stay out of debt. Granted, I'm not a homeowner right now, but yeah. Uh, what do you what are your thoughts on that? Right, cash versus you know getting building your credit score and every, I mean I've had at least five thousand people tell me just start buying small stuff and building your credit score stuff sure. like that. I don't I don't have a credit card. Uh, there's not a lot of black and white answers in mm-hmm. in finance. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So yeah. yeah. You always got to understand like what's the who's the messenger delivering and and what is their target audience. So, so someone like Dave Ramsey and, and we've been working with his organization for 14 years. So like we're a fan, like, mm-hmm. you know, so to speak. Sure. Um, but he's talking to 30 to 40 million unique viewers and listeners per month. Right. Sure. So it's ma- it is like good morning America, you know, right. level communication. So his, his baby steps process, the way they counsel personal finance is like the highest level, broadest stroke, good mm-hmm. advice you could give. Like if most people do these things, most people will be really well off. Sure. If that makes sense. Now, sure. certainly there are some people who it makes no sense for who are on the fringes, right? Mm-hmm. Or who just fundamentally disagree with some of the principles, right? Like if you believe in positive leverage of money, for instance, right? Like a Robert Kiyosaki style financial thinking, which is don't uh, have uh, too many uh, liquid assets, use that mm-hmm. money to leverage and borrow more money to go acquire more assets, right? Especially if interest rates are low, like you're going to sure. fundamentally look at Dave Ramsey and be like, you're an idiot, right? Mm-hmm. For, for believing in no debt. So Mm -hmm. it's not that there's right or wrong, but there are future versions of yourself that you will end up in depending Mm -hmm. on short-term decisions you make, right? So when it comes to things like the primary items people go into debt for, automobiles, education, and real estate, right? Those Mm -hmm. are the only things that may make sense to borrow on. Credit cards basically means you can't, I mean, you're more or less like a toddler and target, Mm -hmm. right? I want a monster truck. Well, you can't, you don't have money for a monster truck. Doesn't matter. I want it anyways, right? So that's what credit cards are that, except for if you have an emergency and don't have any savings, which going back to our earlier conversation is how a lot of people get into debt, of course, to begin with. And then it becomes hard to dig yourself out, right? Because you can't afford to pay your bills. Plus now you have this new debt payment on top. So it just is this Mm -hmm. kind of runaway train. But So credit cards, I just kind of think are, they're kind of silly for the purposes of borrowing money. If you want to use credit cards because they make things convenient and they're safe to shop online and all that stuff, more power to you. I don't care. Sure. But borrowing money for cars, education, and real estate, much more common, probably much more even positively looked at. So Mm -hmm. I would say, number one, the average student loan isn't paid off until somebody's in their mid forties now today. Ouch. Right which means you're spending more than half of your career paying off your loans for your education on average, which to me sounds just not good when I say it out loud. (laughs) And okay, whatever. If you became an attorney or a doctor or a surgeon or a high level professional making a big six figure income, does it really matter if you went into debt for college? Probably not. You know, not not that big of a deal. However, if you got a $127,000 communications degree that you don't even use, because now you work over here as a union welder or whatever, like, uh, probably wasn't a good decision, right? Sure. So the end of what you're looking for should drive your decision making. And then you could say the same thing for automobiles or for real estate, right? Like if you're the type of person that has to have a new car every two years, mm-hmm. okay, right? If that's your one financial vice, you can still make your financial plan work, but you have to be able to 
remember that that cost is going to be perpetual for the rest of your life. You're going to be paying whatever it is, $500, $600, $700 a month adjusted for inflation for the next 50 yeah. or 60 years, right? Which mm -hmm. is a whole lot of money to spend on cars, <laughs> yeah. unless it's your main thing. Like if that's your favorite thing, like my, my business partner, right? Scott. He likes new cars. He leases a, a new nice car every two to three years, but mm -hmm. it's in his budget. It's in his long-term financial plan. He has money accounting for that for the rest of his life because it's important sure. to him. Me, mm -hmm. I don't care. Uh, to me, it's a depreciating asset that's going off the floor into the ocean. I want to spend sure. as little money on automobiles as possible, but that's just right. two different ways of thinking. Is that, yeah. is, that, is that making sense, kind of answering your question or is or not? Uh no, 100%. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to check out the Standing Still podcast, both here on YouTube and wherever else you listen to podcasts.